I recently created these mini DIY paintings and I am obsessed. There's something so cute, so charming about them. They're not only visually appealing, but they also have this unique ability to add a touch of whimsy and personality to any space. They were quick and easy to make. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you how I created them. Since I'm an artist, I painted my own pictures, but you could easily cut out any photo, an art print, a postcard, a greeting card, or really anything to create your own. Here's how I created mine. The key to these mini pieces of art is buying the glass floating frames. So I bought mine from Amazon and they measure two by three inches. I'll link the exact frames I used below this video, but they also come in all different sizes and finishes. The cool thing about these frames is they have a tiny clasp on the side that allows you to open the glass up easily so that you can easily just slide your picture right inside. Here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need the glass floating frames. You'll need a painting, a photograph, art print, or a postcard or something to put inside. You'll need scissors, ribbon, lace, or leather for hanging your photos. And of course that's optional. Here's what we do. Step one, create your artwork. So I cut out a piece of paper that measured the same size as my picture frame, two by three inches. And I used this as a template to trace the correct size for my painting. Then I painted my little heart out. The great thing about creating art that's so small is it doesn't take very long to create and you can start over as many times as you want without feeling like you wasted too much time or paper. Step two. Next, it's time to cut it out. So use a pair of scissors to cut your artwork to the correct size and place it inside your frame. Step three. Lastly, you'll take off the chain if you want to and replace it with ribbon or lace or leather for a more personalized look. And voila, you're done. It's seriously simple, quick, and easy. So if you're wondering where to hang your new creations, here are a few ideas to get you started. You could put them inside a gallery wall. So I love creating gallery walls with frames of all different sizes. And these teeny tiny painting, paintings are great for filling up those smaller spaces. You could put them on a bookshelf. So you could add some visual interest to your bookshelf by displaying a few mini art pieces among your book collection or hanging one against the back of a bookcase. Also your office desk. You could hang a tiny painting or two above your office desk to brighten up your workspace. And lastly, a bathroom. So they are often filled with tiny spaces that are perfect for hanging a few little mini paintings but really any small space that needs a little something extra is a great place to put these small mini paintings. So go ahead and create your own. Go order some frames, have fun creating. And if you have a space in your home that is in need of a refresh, you will love my Joyful Room Workbook. It's a step-by-step -step guide for creating a room you love and it's completely free. So click on the link below this video to get your copy delivered straight to your inbox. Happy decorating. Bye for now.